Hi everybody, this is Reese Barber from Audiology Associates. Thanks very much for watching that EWAX remo removal compilation video today, sorry. Uh, no Mr. Taylor Green. Uh, poor old Mr. Taylor Green's not feeling very well. He's off poorly today, uh, but he said I can just go on and voice over some of his videos. So you're watching this the same as me for the first time today. Um, fingers crossed he'll be feeling a little bit better and we'll be seeing him again back on the screens real soon. I've missed him, I haven't seen him for ages. Um, so what he's got here it looks like a very, very hard piece of wax. Difficult this one because it looks like a hard piece of wax that's almost perfectly formed to the same size, bless him, or even slightly bigger than the entrance to the canal. Uh, so he's got a bit of a double whammy to deal with here because when you get these hard surface pieces of earwax, it's very difficult to get a fantastic suction grip on them. Uh, and I know you're all gonna say, well, yeah, but you could use a tool and get behind it. Do you know what? It's really difficult when it's like this only because when you're filling that entrance to the canal to try and get the tool to work, so any curatage tools, so we're talking uh, Jobson Horn, Rosen and Serda, St. Bartok, those kind of things, very difficult to get over the top of this plug because what you're going to inadvertently end up doing is pushing it further back in again and then you've got to draw it back to the front and then try and go over it again. So if you can, you're kind of better off trying to use suction and break it down or at least try and wiggle it enough to pull it through the gap, which is exactly what Taylor's doing here. Um, so we're just going to give this a little bit more of a wiggle. I'll just you know guys he's full up with a cold that's what's going on bless him he's he's really croaky he's coughing and spluttering uh he did come into work today and uh, we've sent him back home again <laughs> he's not good because he can't talk very well so we get a, he's getting this out now we're almost there now this see how the color changes we had that real kind of shine that sheen to that front section of wax and now it's gone very matte that's usually a good indication that the consistency has changed a little bit, in my experience anyway. Um, so you can see we've got this almost putty type of uh, earwax now. So we have this really hard surface layer, and then beyond that, this kind of softer putty layer of wax there. There you are. I avoided a foodstuff reference there, guys. You did notice. Uh, so we're just taking this away. He's pulling down from the top section of this plug, trying to almost roll this out of the ear canal here. And he's doing a good job. It's coming away. Can you get the whole thing out? Yes, he can. There you go. So you can see, he managed to get that away. Eardrum looking good there. No kind of real issues as far as that drum is concerned. So we are just over one centimeter, half an inch worth of earwax there, guys. Don't forget, if you do enjoy these videos, guys, you can always like, heart, share, follow, subscribe, all the things from me, that'd be fantastic. Um, now this is actually one of my patients. Uh, this was an emergency appointment that came through. Uh, lovely gent, comes to see us quite regularly, but he's got at the end of a cotton bud stuck uh, in his ear canal here. So the whole end of the cotton bud, the Q-tips come off in his ear canal. So he, he just walked into clinic and said, look, this is the case, I, can you help me out? So we got him in his emergency appointment and you can see it's literally the whole head uh, of the plug that's come away, at uh, the plug, the whole head of the cotton bud that's come away here. Uh, so quite a big old plug. Now he was really struggling with his hearing. Now, I'm gonna, you ask, why did he use a cotton bud if he's a regular patient? Well, you'll see in a second, this patient suffers with a really dry ear canal canal uh, and he uses the cotton bud to apply some um, olive oil. Uh, he puts it on the cotton bud but usually puts it around the outside edge and that's what he's done here and inadvertently the end of the cotton buds come off with it which is why you could see it looked so soaked in olive oil. Some people do that they mop up excess with uh, you know some people use tissue some people use cotton wool uh, balls some people use cotton buds. You don't have to do that if you administer oil into the ear canal just lay on uh, just lay on the opposing side just let it filter all the way down and when you do the other side just put a tissue underneath any excess will naturally fall out anyway uh, so we've got the fine end on here now you can see he's got a very very pronounced bend in the ear canal here very difficult to see all the way around because the endoscope we use is a rod so basically it's just a straight uh, tube of metal with some optic fibers and a lens inside uh, because you're trying to get into this sort of bendy ear canal with a straight object it's very difficult to do now you can see where I talked about this dry ear canal here we're in that deeper section of the ear canal and what we've got here is a lot of keratin a lot of dead skin it's died off and it's just kind of sitting in this deeper section now this is quite common you, you know we talk about uh sort of earwax problems and stuff like that i read a statistic the other day actually um here in the uk about three percent of the population uh suffer with earwax problems so i'd imagine that's going to be you know, there'll be subtle variations but i think you're probably going to be looking at similar numbers all across the world anyway uh, if you're looking at similar climates and things like that um but one of the reasons um that we get these issues 
is we if we don't produce enough oil in the ear canal which is exactly what this patient does and that's down to your genetics but it also uh, ha age has an impact on that as well so i read a statistic as well if you get over 65 then the percentage of the population that suffer with earwax problems jumps it goes right up up to 34 percent so you can see that's a massive increase and we think the reason for that is obviously producing less oil in the ear canal but also when we talk about that epithelial migration which we talked about quite a few times that tends to slow as we get older and sometimes the blood supply isn't quite as good to the ear canal walls and that can also slow epithelial migration so you will get these these sort of dead skin this keratinous skin forming much deeper in the canal than you normally would um so we've got debris so we've got the cotton bud and the tiny little bit of wax so we just took away this three quarters of an inch two centimeters on that one guys uh don't forget guys if you do suffer with problems with your ears whether that be earwax hearing tinnitus anything at all check out the link tree in the description uh i've had a look not many people click on it from youtube it's worth taking a look at and that will take you through to our website the website is due to be um basically relaunched so there's a new website coming soon so make sure you check that out I'll let you know when it does go live uh, but yeah you can have a little look on there you can actually reserve an appointment through the website when it, the new website when it goes live anyway so keep an eye out for that one so this is Taylor's patient again this looks like keratin here we've got this long you can see this stretch happening here this pulling of the keratin out of the ear canal so really drawing this down the canal there we go now, um, this is a mixture of wax and keratin. That's quite normal. Don't forget, ceramin, which is with a medical terminology for wax, is mixed up of oil, dirt, debris, skin, all sorts in there. So it's not unusual to get mixtures or sort of different layers of, uh, of debris in a plug, which is what's happening here. But this looks like a little bit more wax. We're just going to pull this down, working right at the entrance to the canal here. There we go. Out that comes all the way out here we go looking lovely and let's take a look beyond that is there anything left in here should we see yes there's a little bit more of the plug you can just see at the entrance not an easy entrance to the canal a little bit folded over this one so a little bit on the narrow side there we go out this is starting to come there we are all the way out and let's take a look beyond that i think we've got to be coming to the end of this plug now fine end gone on just to do a little bit of tidying up now, why do we use the fine end to tidy up? Just because it's a smaller tube. It's much easier to take little tiny bits off using a smaller tube just because the visual is more than anything else. If you've got a much wider tube, like the standard size on the tube, and you're trying to take smaller pieces off, it's really difficult to take those away. Uh, but looking nice and healthy in that ear canal, that looks good. You can see the eardrum looking good there. So what's the other ear canal going to look like? Are we looking at a very similar story? Uh, not quite as blocked. You can see the tympanic membrane beyond. You can really kind of see down that ear canal. Uh, but this is right at the outside edge. So this is in the, in the cartilaginous portion of the ear canal. So right on the very, very uh, outer section of the canal. Ooh, a little bit of a different consistency here though. Do you see how that? There's that little bit of resistance to the wax as you lift it from the canal wall. And I think we talked about this dryness to the canal wall. And that's what's happened here. It almost looks very, very dry. And what you tend to find with this, this type of plug, it's super duper sticky. So it's really, really sticky. It wants to adhere to the canal wall really, really well. And you tend to find you get this sort of thin epithelial layer, this, this sort of dead skin layer that comes away with it. And that's what's been anchoring it in place. So if you imagine the, the, the wax has been sticking to that epithelial layer, that surface skin layer, and then that has died off, but it's still kind of adhered to the canal wall. So you've got the wax sticking to the skin, the skin sticking to the fresher skin, and Underneath. so it's coming away but very very slowly now one thing you can do with these types of removals you can pop a little bit of olive oil in there sometimes it'll just work under the wax and because this wax is fighting you down the canal it wants to adhere to the canal wall all the way down it just stops that uh, process oh there you go there's the oil going in now well done Taylor Green uh, stops it from adhering to the canal wall all the way down so this should help it to slide out a little bit easier it also helps you to get a good grip with the uh, suction tube as well so we're just giving this a little bit of a wiggle lifting from the canal wall a little bit more of a wiggle there we go it's on its way out this is starting to come there we go so the plug's on its way out. I don't think there's going to be much beyond that because we could remember see the, the very sort of top, the pars flaccida, the very top portion of the eardrum or tympanic membrane, whichever you like to call it. Uh, 
but we're just clearing up some of these looser bits. You can see that thin, see that thin layer there? That's what I was talking about, but the epithelial layer that's died off, hasn't quite detached from the canal wall, and that's what that, that uh, wax plug was sticking to. So Taylor's just tidying this up for you now. There we go. Out, that's all come in. Let's take a look beyond, let's have a look at the eardrum, looking nice and healthy there, that eardrum, no issues there whatsoever. So this is what we will, two and a half centimeters, one inch worth of earwax there. Well guys, thank you very much for watching our video again today. I doubt, looking at how Taylor look this way, I doubt you'll be on for the next video either, so you're probably stuck with me for the next couple of videos again. Uh, I know, I know. Um, but uh, as always guys, take care of yourselves, take care of your ears, and take care of one another, especially you Mr. Taylor Green, make sure you look after yourself at home now, uh, and we'll, uh, well, non-be, I'll probably see you for the next video. Bye everyone.